Hi, my name is Jay Dorman, and this summer I worked with Lauren Sims and Grayson Hambrick, and we grew two different cell lines, the lung carcinoma and lung fibroblast. I'm just going to be sharing a few tips for culturing these cells. First, some general cell growth tips. Um, it's best to check on cells every day, um, whether that is going to split the cells or to change the media. You can tell if cells need the media changed based on the color of the media, if it is changed from a brighter pink to a more yellow color. Um, when you're taking pictures of cells, it's best to use the same magnification every time. And you can draw a circle on the flask so that you're comparing the same spot each day. If the cells are floating or non-adherent um, and they were not detached by trypsin, then that means they are likely dead. And everything you do should be under the tissue culture hood. And then lastly, when you're thawing and plating um, frozen cells, it's best to start in a T25, the smaller flask. And once those cells reach about 80% confluency, then they can be moved into a T75 flask. So this is the first cell line that we worked with, the A549 lung carcinoma cells. Uh, these pictures come from the ATCC website, where you can also find other cell culturing tips for these cells. In a higher dis density, these cells clump up and grow right next to each other. This cell line uses F12K media with 10% FBS and 1% pinch drop. It's a non-small cell lung carcinoma, and the doubling time is about 24 hours. Um, these cells grow in clumps with each other, and so it is best to base the confluency on the space in between the clumps of cells. These are some pictures of confluency for the lung carcinoma cells for reference when trying to decide when to split. And it's best to split um, before that 80% mark. If it gets more confluent than that, then they can start to change their behavior. The second cell line that we worked with is the HFL1 lung fibroblasts. Again, these pictures come from the ATCC website. Uh, you can see that these cells are a completely different shape. They're long and spiky, um, and they don't grow in clumps the same way as lung carcinoma cells do. They grow a lot more evenly. This cell line uses the same F12K media with 10% FBS and 1% pinch drop. These fibroblasts are non-cancerous -can and not immortalized, so that means that at higher passage numbers, these cells can start to break down and change behavior. Um, they have a similar doubling time of about 24 hours, um, but they grow a lot faster at lower passages, and they grow very evenly across the flask. Um, also, we found that they are a little bit harder to detach from the flask, and they need at least a 0.25% trypsin solution. And here are some confluency pictures of these fibroblasts um, for reference when you're splitting cells. In general, we found both of these cell lines to be pretty easy to grow. I hope that these tips are helpful. Thanks.